Konnichiwa, I'm Rogoli Tochi and I'm bloody hot because it is very very hot today and I'll tell you something, it's about to get a lot hotter as well because as you can see we are unboxing Daiki's original illustration Oda Non Kujo Shiho figure one six scale, this is a, a figure that's based on an original illustration and yeah she is very steamy, <laughs> let's just say that. So. Let's get in and have a look at the box before we actually look at the figure. As you can see here, really interesting box this because we've got a massive window showcasing the figure in there. We've got one six scale down there, we've got Odin on illustration, that's expected. But what's with the black and the white going on there? I think that's rather interesting. So you've got like the white with all the flowers going around, roses as well, random. And then we've got sort of black again with the roses going around and all the roses uh, are done in this very nice sort of purple, almost like a black light going on sort of. That's the only way I can describe it, the kind of colour, uh, really. Of course, we've got Daiki's logo up there as well and a brown border around the window as well, which uh, you know, it doesn't really scream massively amazing to me, but it's kind of elegant in a way. It's a kind of elegant box which I think uh, kind of suits the figure to a certain degree, although this is a woman who is covering her modesty um, because she's not wearing any pantsuit and uh, she's just wearing a jumper basically and looking very embarrassed about it. So can't expect something too massively amazing for the box, but I think they've done a reasonably good job here. Let's go to the side. As you can see, we've got a full picture of the figure. The turntable is going to rebel against me because that's what's going to happen because it's a big box. So I'm going to have to hold on to it, uh, which is annoying, but hey-ho. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got the figure here. And as you can see, as the illustration is in the background. So this is the background of the illustration, sort of showing you how she's meant to be displayed with it. Um, and whether this actually is in the back of the box or not actually inside or the inlay, uh, we're going to find out. But that'd be pretty cool if it is, because that means that you could actually do a photo shoot with that. But we'll have to see. Uh, we've just got the Daiki logo down there again. As we go to the side here, checkerboard pattern going on, which is rather interesting. And of course, we've got information about the figure. There's that illustration I've been talking about, the full illustration. Uh, she looks very sexy, very coy as well. Uh, very embarrassed. Uh, we've got a back view of the figure as well uh, showing what she looks like and Yeah, let's move on to this side. Uh, we've got a bigger picture of the figure uh, the Odinon illustration again down here Daiki and as we go to the top Which is heavy. We've got a picture of the figure of her head uh, As you can see it looks like she's not wearing the jumper there. I'm not sure so she is a cast off figure and we've got of course the continuation of the actual background of the illustration window up there as well so, so you can have a down look on her uh, and also we've got uh, if i just drop here on the bottom odin on illustration daiki uh, and a white bottom here hopefully you guys can see that of course we'll be doing some close-up shots anyway so that is the box uh, it's a pretty big box she is actually quite heavy so has Daiki surprised me again? Are they going to be as good as they were with the Sei Shoujo figure? There's only one way to find out, and that is to unbox her. Okay, guys, I'll be serious with you. Fucking terrible. Now, as you can see on the close-up, she actually does look pretty beautiful. And I also want to say kudos to Daiki as well for putting the illustration, as you can see, background uh, there. In the actual box so that does give you some good photo opportunities this cast off option that they come up with is absolutely and i'm gonna say it again fucking terrible it really really is and i really really am disappointed with daiki because daiki have done some amazing figures but this this I don't even know what they were thinking. And I can see why this figure is on Army Army pre-owned and he's still sitting on Army Army pre-owned now. This jumper, right? It's got all of these bits that have got to connect in. And it is a right pain in the ass. There is like this bit down here as well, which I can't even do up. That is just ridiculous. And it's all meant to connect in. So if I swivel her around, as you can see here, 
it's all meant to connect in up here as well and it's all meant to connect in at the back it just doesn't do it it just does, does not do it at all and it is so fucking frustrating i think this is the most us warning of a review but i am so so annoyed because she is a highly highly expensive figure or she was when i bought her and just the, the amount of uh, frustration that it happens when you are trying to put all this together the arm comes out so the head so the cast off option let me go with that okay head comes off and then the arm comes off and the other arm comes off and then the jumper is removable okay and then you've also got these other little bits uh to go on to the actual suspenders uh which are painted quite nicely uh, and they then click down here as you can see so these are removable if i just lift it up you can see what i mean and you can remove these completely see if you want to display her fully naked there is that display option and then if you want you can also add this on here as well uh, which just sort of uh, these round bits here just cover her nipples which uh, are just you know it's a, again it's another little bit of a weird lingerie that they come up with uh, might want to add actually the moment I put that on there uh, black paint transfer on the nipple I was like great that's that's what I want right now but like I say this jump up is it's just a nightmare it really is and I will show you what I mean I'm not going to fully cast her off but see how many of these have got to click in so i've got to hold this camera it's a bit wonky i'm trying to keep it steady and everything and i'm sorry about the lighting in here but it's getting darker and darker and i'm trying not to show any sfw stuff but uh they may it may happen but as you can see all of these have got to click in you know literally all of this all of this has got to click in like that so if i just lift that a little bit you'll see what i mean it is it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous and you will spend a lot of time like i was like just pushing and pushing and pushing and you think i'm gonna break this figure in a minute because it's so fucking ridiculous um i am that, just really really frustrated and like i say the same thing with the arm here like this this the the arm at the back if i show you i don't know if you can actually see it actually because they, they've done it quite cleverly so i will say that um at the back here that's all got to click in so that arm comes out and then that'll come off and it, you click it round it um sort of like the freeing uh satellizer which i thought okay i've dealt with this kind of thing before but again uh i've spent almost half an hour of my life trying to put a bloody jumper on a figure that's just fucking ridiculous it really is sorry for the amount of swearing um there is going to be some pictures as well i'll try and do some pictures and I'll see you guys in another review and hopefully it'll be a bit more positive. <laughs> it's not often that I will give a figure another chance after unboxing it. As you heard there, I was pretty annoyed with the way Daiki had done this figure. But after a night's sleep and calming down after the frustration, I decided that I should give Shiho another chance. I feel that I was a bit harsh and I think that was down to me being extremely hot and frustrated with the jumper i did unbox her on the hottest day of the year which i didn't know that but i do now and that might explain why i was getting so aggravated anyway i'm going to go back now and outline those positives and negatives again with a clearer head so let's start with those negatives the base it's extremely boring it's plain black not at all exciting which is a shame a base that had a piece of pavement would have been a lot better and certainly would have made her look a lot more sexier with the background art provided. When is it figure companies going to realise that we want more exciting bases for our figures? We don't want plain black, we don't want plain white, we just don't want a round disc. We just want something that's going to put that character into the situation that they're trying to create with the figure. And unfortunately, we still get a plain black base with Shiho, which is a shame. The cast off option, which I've already mentioned about that jumper, but there is another issue that plagues this figure, and that is paint transfer. I've had this twice already from the black lingerie, however it can be removed with a magic eraser. Ah, the godsend that is the magic eraser. There can also be paint transfer from removing her head, so bear that in mind if you do decide to buy her. Okay, I've got to talk about that jumper. Let's be honest here, it isn't the best design, but taking it off and on and you know putting it back on it should become a lot easier from what i've been reading on msc a lot of people have said that it has got a lot easier with time so hopefully mine will adapt to the environment and 
it will be easier to put back on and cast off because I will be honest with you guys it really is frustrating as hell I said that in the video but if it does do that then it shouldn't become too much of a problem let's go in to those positives Shiho has many positives that outweigh the negatives such as the sultry and erotic look upon her face it's a teasing look showing embarrassment and control which is very alluring and bound to make her very eye-catching her sculpt is perfect she looks delicate her body curvy and slender the pose is also extremely evocative and modest as if she is trying to cover herself and not reveal too much as if she wants to torment you which pretty much she is the paint is top notch no visible runoffs her hair is superb strands within strands give off a real hair look which really does help to accentuate her face as mentioned is extremely sexy and confident giving that feel of a tease her eyes will make you feel she has you in the palm of her hand and she knows it her open mouth and petite lips add to the naughtiness of her expression she really does seem to be enjoying teasing you and you can tell that uh, she really is her stockings and lingerie are nicely detailed with petal and rose designs even accentuated with bows the high heels are fantastic the gold trim adds a bit of class to her character the jumper is well made and looks durable and as mentioned should be easier to work with in time for the cast off option it's well painted no scuffs even has an effect of clothing to make her look more realistic her private area i will say to you you can see pics on mfc but it is detailed as you would expect and she does have pubic hair which is painted on which if you're not a fan of that then you might want to avoid this figure but if it doesn't bother you then i'm sure you're going to love her and it's interesting that they did that because not many female figures have got that feature so rounding up i'm feeling a little bit better about this figure i can say that daiki have impressed me the paint and sculpt are pretty much perfect the cast off is easy just be careful when removing her head and the lingerie as i mentioned she does have different display options which makes her a lot more interesting and also it means that you will be able to enjoy her a lot more throughout the years honestly apart from the floor with the jumper she is near perfect so if you're a fan of Odinon's art or sexy female figures then I'm sure she will fit into your collection nicely I feel a lot more better about her now and I think I'm definitely going to keep her it's just going to be interesting to see how I get on with that jumper which I'll let you guys know in the future so that is it really for my review on Shiho. like i say i feel a lot more better about her and i hope you guys can understand that uh, i had to do this i can't just leave that video how it was it didn't seem fair to do that and it didn't seem right to me and i felt really really frustrated and if you like this style of review let me know and i will try and change my reviews up and do something a little bit more detailed like this so yeah literally this time i am going Thanks for watching guys, sayonara.